Hello everyone, welcome to Masa Military. The armed organization Hamas launched a large-scale raid on Israel on October 7th. Hamas fired thousands of rockets from Gaza and invaded southern Israel, killing more than 1,200 people. It was the biggest attack on Israel since the Yom Kippur War in 1973. The Israel Defense Forces retaliated against Hamas in Gaza. Hamas fired about 5,000 rockets in two hours. Although Israel's Iron Dome defense system could intercept the rockets, Hamas's rocket barrage attack overwhelmed the Iron Dome system and exposed its weakness. During the 2006 Second Lebanon War, approximately 4,000 Hezbollah fired rockets, the great majority of which were short-range Katusha rockets, landed in northern Israel, including in Haifa, the country's third largest city. The rocket barrage killed 44 Israeli civilians and caused approximately 250,000 Israeli citizens to evacuate and relocate to other parts of Israel, while an estimated 1 million Israelis were confined in or near bomb shelters during the conflict. In February 2007, Defense Minister Amir Peretz selected Iron Dome as Israel's defense against the short-range rocket threat. The Iron Dome defense system is designed to handle a large number of rockets and mortars. It has excellent, very short-range air defense capabilities. The Iron Dome was developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries with support from the U.S. From 2011 to 2021, the U.S. contributed a total of $1.6 billion to the Iron Dome defense system, with another $1 billion approved by the U.S. Congress in 2022. It entered into service in 2011. The Iron Dome has three components a radar that detects incoming rockets, a command and control system that determines the threat level, and an interceptor that, if the system determines that human lives or infrastructure are at risk, seeks to destroy the incoming rocket before it strikes. The interceptor of the Iron Dome is the Tamir missile, which is 9.8 feet long, 6.3 inches in diameter, weighs 200 pounds, and has a maximum flight speed of Mach 2.2. It is mainly used to intercept rockets within a range of 2.5 to 40 miles. In Operation Protective Edge, launched by Israel in 2014, Iron Dome played a large role. During the 50-day conflict, the Iron Dome defense system shot down 735 rockets fired from Gaza that were determined to be a threat. Iron Dome is thought to have a 90% successful interception rate. Iron Dome systems are deployed at key locations in Israel. Currently, the country has 10 Iron Dome batteries, each equipped with 4 to 6 launchers. Each launcher has 80 to 120 interceptor missiles. Of course, not all Iron Dome systems are deployed on the southern border, but more are used in the north to counter Hezbollah rockets in Lebanon. The Iron Dome system near Gaza may be able to deal with up to 500 to 600 targets, assuming there is less in actual combat. On Saturday, October 7th, 2023, Hamas launched a rocket barrage attack before the raid of more than 5,000 rockets in two hours, exceeding the defense capability of the Iron Dome system in southern Israel. Moreover, once the Iron Dome system launcher has fired all missiles, it will take a long time to reload. There is also news that some Iron Dome combat command and control systems have crashed due to being overloaded. There are also reports that some Iron Dome systems have been hacked and cannot work. The estimated cost of each Tamir interceptor missile was cited in 2014 as costing from US $20,000 up to $50,000. A 2020 analysis estimated a total cost of $100,000 to $150,000 for each interception. In contrast, a crudely manufactured rocket costs around $800 and the Hamas Grad rocket costs only several thousand dollars. Therefore, in order to avoid waste and achieve maximum efficiency, the Iron Dome system can quickly determine the impact points of rockets and will only intercept rockets. They may land in densely populated areas or key facilities. Additionally, the Iron Dome is also suitable against drones, since the cost of Tamir missiles is still relatively expensive. The Iron Dome system is scheduled to be used with laser weapons in the future. The United States has been interested in the Iron Dome for a long time. In addition to appropriating an investment of US $1.39 billion during the development process to support the project, Raytheon also began jointly producing the Iron Dome system with Raphael in 2014. After seeing how efficient the Iron Dome system protects critical areas, the US Army decided to purchase them in February 2019. 
In 2020, it spent US $373 million to purchase two batteries, including 12 launchers, two sensors, two combat readiness management centers, and 240 interceptors. The US Army began deploying and testing an Iron Dome system in Guam in November 2021 to intercept drones or cruise missiles that may attack Guam. However, it cannot intercept high-speed cruise missiles. The Iron Dome system is also developing into a variety of launch vehicles. In November 2017, Israel announced that the ship-based Sea Dome system developed by Iron Dome has achieved preliminary combat capabilities. The Sea Dome system will be equipped with four Sa'ar 6-class corvettes. Raphael further developed the Iron Dome into a mobile iDome system and exhibited it at the European Defense Exhibition, or Eurosatry, in June 2018. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and support Masa Military. See you next time.